Welcome to the A Day in the Life series. The topic for this video is maintaining routines and schedules in difficult times. There are times in all our lives when things don't go as planned. Sometimes this is a community or national event, and sometimes this is a more personal challenge for the family, such as a death or a major move. These times are difficult for everyone in the family, but they can be especially difficult for young children with ASD who are very routine oriented. Any change in their routine can result in stress and anxiety, and the bigger the change, the bigger the stress. Sometimes the changes to our routines and daily schedules are sudden and drastic. Finding a new routine and creating a new schedule for the family may be hard at first. Because this is a stressful time for everyone, it will be important to go easy on yourself. There's a reason why this is so hard. Sudden, drastic, or dramatic changes in life can be overwhelming, and there will be a transition period where nothing feels right at all. Your sense of normalcy is gone, and finding a new normal doesn't happen overnight. Things will get better, but in the meantime, go easy on yourself have reasonable expectations about what is feasible. Sometimes it is enough that everyone in the family is clean, fed, and dressed. Adults often like to start their day with some quiet time to drink a cup of coffee or catch up on the news, or maybe even like to start their day with a hot shower. Find a way to make that happen, even if it means getting up earlier in order to have that moment just to yourself. For children with ASD, many of their treasured routines might be eating the same food for breakfast. If at all possible, try to have their favorite foods available. Also, provide choices that are a close second and third favorite. Children with ASD do better in a routine environment. However, during difficult family and community events, your regular routine might not be possible. First, Help the child understand what is happening by using social narratives and visual supports. Families can create short reminders about having to eat something different if a favorite food isn't available, and create visuals that offer other choices. Understand, though, that your child may be upset over what seems like small things, such as not having their favorite food, and try to be patient. Families can also create longer stories or social narratives that explain a personal emergency, like a death in the family or a national emergency like COVID-19. Anyone can make a simple story with pictures that explains a problem as simply as possible. Some children may also benefit from a video explaining the sudden change. For example, if one parent or caregiver must leave unexpectedly for an extended period of time, a video that the child can watch again and again to see the parent and to hear why they are gone might be helpful. The child may still be anxious because they want to have their life stay the same including having their parent or caregiver at home with them. But at least we are taking the time to help them understand why the situation has happened. A child's regular routine might include going to preschool or childcare, and might also include parents or caregivers leaving for work. But in difficult times, parents might not be leaving for work every day, and the child might not attend preschool or childcare activities. This may be very difficult for the child with ASD to understand that their regular morning routines will be different and that they should not go to the door and car once they are ready for the day. Be sure to make a new schedule as soon as possible that shows a child what their options are for the rest of the day. In difficult times, it might be useful to schedule something highly motivating in place of when a child would regularly leave the house for school or childcare. For example, after breakfast, Perhaps schedule something like watching a favorite movie or doing a favorite activity. Also, as you create a new schedule for the child, intersperse calming or coping activities throughout the day. Children with ASD often cope with stress and anxiety in different ways, and some might even seem unusual to you. Due to differences in the way some children with ASD experience the senses, a child might need a variety of sensory-based activities like sitting in a small tent or covered area, using soft or heavier blankets, turning the lights down low, 
or participating in repetitive movements like swinging or rocking in a chair. In making a new schedule for the disrupted time, try not to overschedule the day and have too many transitions. Remember, whatever has disrupted your life and your schedule is likely very challenging, and everyone is probably under a lot of stress. Keep it simple, for everyone's sake. Children with ASD often struggle with transitions, and it can be hard for the child to stop doing an activity and move to something else, especially if the activity they have to stop is a preferred activity. The more activities that are added to the new schedule, the more transitions your child will experience and the more support they may need to successfully move from activity to activity. If a parent or caregiver's time is limited because of a major event or disruption to everyday life, Find the best times in the day when the adult can give their time, their focus, and their energy in supporting the child as they move to something else in the schedule. If at all possible, avoid adding in new difficult routines or tasks during challenging times. Sometimes this cannot be helped, and a family must tackle the difficult stuff head on. In these situations, it will be important to take it one step at a time and include the same evidence-based practices that you have been using all along, such as visual supports, prompting, and reinforcement as you teach any new skill or task. However, when you can, try to avoid adding in anything complicated. The more complicated the new task or routines, the more likely your child will need significant support. During difficult times, everyone is already under a lot of stress. So just remember to go easy on yourself. Have a little extra patience for everyone. Things will slowly get better as your family adjusts. Mm -hmm.